Hey everybody, Chris here with another Avengers log, and there's actually a lot to talk about this um, this log. Um, there's some personal news, but we'll save that for the end. There's some really cool news, save that for the middle, and then there's the current news, which is the trailer that has been released today. Today, the new Avengers trailer was released, and damn, that trailer was awesome. I'm sorry. That had to have been one of the coolest trailers in history. Uh, giving away more of the alien invaders that are going to be invading Earth and potentially the Avengers' first adversary. A lot of people are talking about it being the Kree. Not the Kree, the, um, the aliens that were in the Uncanny X-Men from way back when. I forget the names and it's funny because I actually have the, the books and I can't remember the names. Um, the or Org? Orth, org, something like that. Uh, Google it. I'm sure you guys will find it. Something, something that rhymes with org. And uh, the the ending of the trailer. Not to spoil it for you guys. If you haven't seen the trailer yet, stop this video here. Go watch the trailer and then come back because I'm about to discuss the trailer in depth. First of all, uh, before we even get into the last part of the trailer, Hulk catching Iron Man was awesome. That part is going to be sick in the movies. Uh, the whole introduction of the team is going to be really awesome. Um, love Tony Stark. I love the way they portrayed him, not only in the Iron Man movies, but it's going to be really awesome to see him in the Avengers movie. Um, main people I'm looking forward to seeing in the Avengers movie is Iron Man and Captain America and Thor. Those are the main three for me. Hulk is just a bonus. Same with Black Widow, Hawkeye, and Nick Fury. It's just the other three are the, the big ones for me. Um... It looks really good. I hope Loki gets his you-know-what handed to him by the end of the movie. Um, I like how Iron Man, in every movie, has to have an armor upgrade. First movie was Mark 1, 2, and 3. Second movie was 4, 5, and 6. And now we're getting Mark 7 in the new Avengers movie. And we're going back to the circular chest piece. I like, I don't know, I'm a fan of the the circular arc reactor. I'm not really too big of a fan of the triangular one. I don't know why. It, it really potatoes potatoes to me, but I don't know. For me, I like the circular one better. Uh, okay, and then the very end of the trailer, that big alien dragon-like thing. I can't wait. I'm counting down for May 4th. It is going to be off the hook. Amazing, that movie. And I don't care if I have to go all the way into the city to see it in IMAX. I am not missing out on this movie. And no one who is a comic book fan or a huge movie buff should miss out on the Avengers movie. It's the first time ever that we have collaborating superheroes all meshed together in one huge movie. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the new Hulk outline and the new Hulk look, but it's, uh, it's look-overable in my opinion. <laughs> And that's it for the trailer. Okay, now let's talk about something else. Something that uh, I was debating on whether I was going to start or not. Uh, those of you who watch CCC know I ended up getting a whole box of Yu-Gi-Oh cards, which in turn I'm going to be giving a couple to my friend Cody Toxidy. I know my girlfriend Cindy definitely wants a nice amount of those cards. I'm going to be helping her out with her deck. Uh, with a few of the cards. I'm, I I like a few of the cards also. I don't play Yu-Gi-Oh! much anymore. So, at least it's good to know that the cards will be circulating between my girlfriend, my good friend. I'm sure Michael will want one or two because he'll think they look purdy or something like that. So, um, yeah, unfortunately Mike's not behind the camera this time. It's all me. Um, Mike had to go to bed early for school. I'm going to bed right after this video is shot. So, what I'm getting around to saying is... The Marvel Legends are back, baby! That's right! Says it right here on the package. The return of the Marvel Legends. I got my first figure finally. This is the variant uh, Iron Man. This is the stealth Iron Man. The original Iron Man figure is the gold and red. Um, this, the regular Iron Man figure is like $11.99. At some point I'm probably going to be getting the Iron Man figure. Um, I'm not going to be building the entire Terax figure. So anybody who's interested in any of the pieces I do get, because other than uh, Iron Man, I'll probably be grabbing uh, Hope Summers because Cindy actually likes Hope Summers and she's a fan of her, so I'll probably get it just for the collect 
collector purposes. Uh, I'm going to be getting the other Iron Man probably. I'm not interested in Steve Rogers or Claw or Constrictor. Got a Ghost Rider because um, just looks epic. And Thor doesn't come with a build of piece. But if you're interested in the arms, another right leg, or a possible head and axe, let me know. Uh, as soon as I get the figures, I'm not building Terax. I have no problem trading them away for something, something small, uh, anything. Uh, offer something, and we'll see if we can strike a deal. Figure reviews are not going to be on the CCC. I'm going to be doing all the figure reviews for all the Marvel Legend figures I'm getting. And I'm not just getting a few from this wave. There's another wave that came out, and I'm getting a couple from that wave as well. Uh, I'm going to be doing all the figure reviews on here, as well as the Nightwing figure I will be doing on this channel. Um, this is the first figure I got. There's a lot more coming. I have The next figure that's coming is actually from the second wave. Everything else I have on pre-order, which once again, thank you so much, A Comic Book Mom, for directing me to Big Bad Toy Store. Because other than one figure, and this figure, because I found this figure on Amazon.com from a side store, other than this figure and the other one that's on the way, I got all my figures from Big Bad Toy Store at a reasonable price, at an awesome price, way better than Toy Wiz. I, as soon as I saw the prices on Big Bad Toy Store, I... have Taking away Toy Wiz from even my bookmarks, Big Bad Toy Store is going to be the place where I go for my figures if I don't get them on Amazon or from Midtown directly. Toy Wiz is way too expensive. I'd say if you guys are going to shop for any type of toy, any type of figure, check out BigBadToyStore.com if you do not want to shop on Amazon.com. Because to be honest with you, the prices for these figures on Amazon was a lot more expensive than the prices on Big Bad Toy Store. So you might want to give Big Bad Toy Store a check out. Um, it's a really good store. It's going to be the place where I go from now on. Toy Wiz can go F itself for all I care. Really good toy. Really quick also, I'm not going to get into Superman much anymore because I've gotten tons of messages saying, Chris, we know how you really feel about Superman. Why don't you let it out? To be quite honest, if I let out the true way I feel about the new Superman and how I felt about the old Superman, and how pissed off it gets me every time somebody says, Oh, I didn't like Superman back in the day. I didn't read him because he was too Boy Scouty or too cool. I'm going to end up pissing off a bunch of people. So I'm going to keep my opinion to myself and say this much. The Superman pre-Flashpoint was somebody kids could look up to. I don't care if you're a teenage whatever living in your mom's basement or a young adult living in your mom's basement. Superman was somebody for the kids to look up to. If you didn't like him, you didn't have to read him. I personally loved him. I would buy his old books till the ends of the earth and back again. I'd follow that Superman. This new Superman, I wouldn't give the time of day. And you know why he's selling so good? Because everybody finally got what they wanted. That dark Superman that everybody's been craving since the 1980s. Congratulations, you got your dark Superman and he's a douche. I personally would follow the first, the pre-Flashpoint Superman to the ends of the earth and back. You didn't like him? That's fine. You didn't have to collect him. You're collecting the new one? Congratulations. I'm glad everybody got what they were looking for. So now the kids have nobody to look up to as they grow up. And you teenage guys now have your dark Superman that can go up and punch people through the chest for all I care. I really don't give two dams about it. I'm not going to curse. I've actually been fighting really hard not to curse in my videos lately. So damn... Shit, a few other words here and there. Those are fine. The F word and the D word are the two words I'm going to try to uh, really not say as much anymore. Also, that figure came with a story or a Tales of Terax. I got three of six. I opened up the bottom to get it, and it gives you a little layout of how to build Terax, but I really don't care. Terax looks a lot like Darkseid. Doesn't the face kind of look a little bit like Darkseid to you? Looks a little bit like Darkseid to me. Anyway... Okay, on to personal and the final part of the news um, for here. Uh, first off, Spider-Man 1991. Uh, Spidey, uh, understand how personal life problems can, um, you know, sometimes, not problems, you know, just personal life in general and ruts and stuff. I understand how that feels. Believe me, my bro, I know exactly how that feels. Um, I understand you're going away for a while. I hope you don't stay gone. I hope to see you back doing your comic reviews a month from now or maybe two months from now however long it takes I just hope to see you back I hope you don't take a permanent hiatus from YouTube because your videos are very valuable not only 
to your viewers, but to the entire comic book community. That's my humble opinion. You don't have to take it uh, for anything uh, than it's worth. But in my opinion, man, your videos meant a lot to a lot of people and to the comic book community. No matter how many people viewed it, it was still something. Um, also, Cody, Toxie, is going to be taking a huge hiatus from comic books also and going back to his hobby. Um, understandable, once again, you know, a lot's going on in the community and a lot's not going on in the community. A lot of great people, but, you know, lately the oomph, I guess, just isn't there for a couple of people. And, um, yeah. So anyway, uh, I'm officially making this known that uh, I'm moving a few videos off of the CCC and bringing them to my site because officially starting the beginning of next week, I'm going to be putting myself, I know the creator of the CCC is doing this, I'm putting myself on the reserve list for the CCC because it's become apparent that my substitution work is going to be taking up a whole lot of my time. And unfortunately, that means video making is going to be really limited. And by that, I mean the past three weeks, I've been subbing nonstop. And this site's been suffering. Whereas CCC, I'm always making new videos. I'm always doing a preview review. I'm always doing the rundown. Um, no offense, I care about the CCC. I created the CCC. I love the CCC and everybody who works on it. But my site, I also have to worry about as well. And um, so I'm not moving everything to my site. Um, basically, only moving two or three things anyway. Comic book rundown every week will still be there. Me, Mike, and Cody, or me and Mike, depending on uh, work. But I know this this week coming in, it'll probably be me, Mike, and Cody. Uh, comic rundown is staying on CCC. The main things that I'm probably going to move here are the Hero Click videos. Um, and news, any kind of news that I get because uh, those are the main things I've been doing a lot of. Anything other than that, maybe a preview review here and there I'll do on my channel. Uh, I really, I'm not too big into the preview review because if it's really huge, a really huge preview like the Avengers vs. X-Men preview, I'll do that on here. Uh, I'll still do preview reviews on CCC probably during the summer or when I'm not substituting. Uh, but for the most part, I'm going to be hanging up my coat uh, temporarily for the CCC and putting myself on the reserve list. I'll be doing Comic Rundown, as I said, every week. So don't worry, guys. I'll still be working on CCC. But other than the Comic Rundown, I think any other video I do is going to be put on here, which is why figure reviews are being moved from CCC. I was originally going to start them again because I, I used to do figure reviews on here. I was going to move them over to CCC. I've decided to keep them on Dark Avenger and uh, see how far I can go on Dark Avenger. So all my figure reviews, including Nightwing, are going to be on Dark Avenger. Um, any type of news I'll be doing on Dark Avenger. There'll be a huge range of guest stars still, as always. Um, Hero Clicks, this month's Hero Clicks, the month of February, is going on CCC because I've already done the intro. The outro, I will be mentioning though on the end of the video that um, the next co um, uh, Hero Clicks episode is going to be on my channel. However, I'm not doing a Hero Clicks series uh, episode for March. I'm going to let March play out. Uh, happy March 1st, by the way, because that's when this is going to be going up. Um, I'm going to be doing a Hero Clicks uh, video for April. Because in April, the Galactic Hero Clicks from Marvel is coming out. So I'll be buying a set of those. I'll be pre-ordering those at the end of March. And we'll have those for April. And those will be on Dark Avenger also. Um, I'll still try to do a bit of news on CCC from time to time. Uh, I'll still be working with everybody on CCC from time to time. If they want me in a video, I'll be more, more than willing to be there. Uh, but I need to focus on my channel because my time is... Right now, when we started CCC, my time, I had a bit more time. Now my time is more limited. And I keep promising everybody on this channel that I'm going to give you guys videos. I'm going to give you guys videos. And I keep falling short either because I'm editing the rundown or in Mike, Mike's been editing the rundown. I, I've been doing a lot. No, I've been editing the rundown. i got to be honest. Mike did one for me. 
uh, or it's editing a video for CCC or doing a video for CCC, uh, I just can't afford the time right now. I want, because I've been getting messages from a lot of you guys, and I understand you guys are like, Chris, where's your videos? I understand you're doing CCC work, but what about Dark Avenger? And I could see the views are starting to slip a bit because everybody's uh, thinking I'm not working on my channel anymore. So, um, for the, um, the good, for the good of my channel and, um, for my viewers, for the people that are on here that are expecting me to do videos for this channel, uh, I'm going to take a bit of a break from CCC, take a reserve. I trust each and every one of the people that work on CCC. Uh, I know they'll keep the ship, the flagship going, and they'll be, and they'll run it very well uh, in my reserve time. Uh, I don't know when I'm getting off the reserve list, to be honest. Uh, it really all depends on work and my personal life. There's a lot going on in my personal life, especially come May. There's going to be a lot of things that I'm going to be doing in May. So time is really going to be limited in May. Uh, possibly June with the graduate, with my kids' graduations and stuff, my class's graduation. So with the limited time comes the, I'm sorry, the reserve list. I'm putting myself officially on there with Comic Noob and Cody Toxidy and Spidey. Spider-Man 1991. I have to, for the time being, for the good of my channel, and also because I want to get some videos shot, because I've been sick, Mike's been sick, work, and I know all of you, I've gotten all your messages, I'm really sorry that it's been uber slow on this channel, uh, I promise you guys, starting the end of this week, uh, I'm going to be doing this review um, as soon as possible, along with Nightwing, I'll probably do Nightwing this week, and then do the Iron Man one next week. Uh, so I promise you guys there will be videos for this channel soon. I've been getting... So don't worry. I don't want to keep repeating myself. Don't worry. Everybody who sent me messages, I messaged you, about you guys back. Um, there will be stuff. Glad you guys enjoyed Mike's monthly review. Um, feel free to... Um, uh, what do you call it? Comment his videos. He, um, he is going to be looking into a few suggestions that a few of you guys have said. Uh, I think except Aquaman. I don't think Mike was really interested in Aquaman. Uh, he said he'd think about it, but I doubt it's going to be Aquaman. But beside the point, glad you guys are enjoying it. We've decided that we've gotten a lot of messages about Mike. He's going to be coming back to my reviews as soon as college is over. And then when college begins again, he'll go back to the monthly review if he has to. If he doesn't have to, he'll stay with me on the weekly reviews. But anyway, guys, that's it. Um quick recap check out that Avengers trailer if you haven't and you just listen to me describe the whole trailer how could you I just ruined it for you um, Marvel Legends are back baby and they are better than ever these figures are awesome and if you're worried about the scale six inch don't worry I know a lot of you guys are like I hate those three and a half the three and three fourths inch this is not a three and three fourths inch this is a six inch figure it's awesome there are two variant figures per set Per set, this one has Iron Man and Ghost Rider. Other set has Spidey and and I'm drawing a blank and uh, Doc and Dark Wolverine, which I'm getting the variant to that one. Definite, that one looks awesome. But anyway, beside the point, Marvel Legends are back. Uh, they've been back. I just haven't had the chance or the uh, pleasure of getting them. But since I'm not doing cards anymore, I'm going to be getting a lot more toys or figures at least. There's a lot of stuff coming out for the Avengers movie, toy-wise, collectible-wise, everything-wise. So there's going to be a lot of stuff coming in, and I'm going to enjoy reviewing it for you guys because I love doing these videos for you guys. I love entertaining you guys. I love informing you guys, doing whatever type of video I can. Love it. Uh, once again, I'll mention it here, and I'll mention it in the video where I do the review. If you're interested in this Terax leg, if you're not getting Iron Man or you can't get Iron Man and you just, or if you just want the leg, Feel free to message me, offer me something in trade, and we'll see what we can do. Um, try not to offer me money. Uh, I'd rather have a, a nice, clean trade of something. I don't know what for a leg, but it'd be nice for a trade. But if you want to offer money, money's also welcome, but whatever. Uh, I, I don't need the leg. So anybody who wants it, message me up, let me know, and maybe we can do a trade. Even for a comic book. I'll trade the leg for a comic book, a dollar comic book for all I care. Uh, depending on what it is and if I have it or not. Take care, everybody. Sorry about putting myself on the reserve list for CCC, but priorities have to come first. And, um, yeah, life and this channel are my number one priority. CCC is in the heart, but CCC comes into 
It's a group, and it's close. It's a se it's a very close second to my first place, which is my channel. So I'm going to be working here. I'm still going to be doing the rundown. So don't you guys worry about the rundown. I know a few of you guys can't. <laughs> you guys would go would go nuts if we stopped that because you guys enjoy that every week, and I promise you guys that'll never end. Regardless if I'm sick, Mike's sick, anything, we'll we'll always have the rundown. So the rundown is still going to be there. I'm still going to be working on CCC. Just not as much as I'll be working on this channel because I want to make sure that the videos keep going for this channel too. Take care, everybody. I hope you're having a wonderful re week. Comic books came out uh, yesterday. You're going to be watching this the day after. So comics came out yesterday. Hope you guys are enjoying them. Can't wait for my comic review this week. A lot of nice ones. A lot of nice ones coming out next week, beginning March. And uh, just look forward to a lot of new videos. All right, everybody. Take care. Keep on reading. Uh, stay healthy, especially in these times with the cold and flu going around. And I will see you guys really, really soon with another video. Uh, Avengers cast, sorry, really quick. Avengers cast, um, maybe this weekend, maybe not. I don't know about this Saturday. We might have to postpone it to another week because of my personal reasons. I'll, I'll message the guys and let you guys know. All right, everybody, take care. See you guys soon.